Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys my bronzer declutter. So I did a eyeshadow palette declutter, I would say about two, three weeks ago and a bunch of you guys loved it. I was really like hardcore with myself, like no game style, you know? And I realized that that really works for me because I feel like when I'm just like firm with myself, I just kick ass and get stuff done, you know, instead of being like, oh, do I need this, do I need that? Of course I need everything that I really have, you know what I'm saying? But do I really, really, really need it? That's the question. <laughs> So anyways, I'm gonna go through my bronzer um, drawer with you guys. It's in my Alex 9 drawers. It's There's one drawer of bronzers and contouring powders and cream products. It is pretty much overflowing. That's why um, I did want to go ahead and do this video. Um, I'm mean, gonna kind of gave me a kick because I did the eyeshadow palette and I'm like, let me just do every other section in my category of life, you know? There'll be three different sections and categories. So first category is gonna be products that I'm going to keep, of course. Second category is going to be products that I'm going to be putting in my kit to do makeup on others with. And then third category is going to be products that I'm going to either donate, give to friends, or potentially sell to you guys. I didn't know if I wanted to go ahead and sell like bronzers and stuff like that, but a bunch of you guys had asked me to at least post it on my Instagram. And if you're interested, you'll let me know. So I'm like, okay, fine. So I will do that so stay tuned for that i'll put my instagram handle right over here if you guys are interested in any of the palettes that i'm going to potentially sell also in this video i'm going to let you guys know how much i started off with and how much i'm going to actually get rid of whether that means putting it in my kit or decluttering or selling it so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to be doing my blushes uh lipsticks highlighters very very soon so stay tuned but uh, yeah for now let's go okay so the first one that i have here is this one this is the clarins bronzer it has like flamingos all over it i adore this so freaking much that's how it looks you have three different shades i think that this applies beautifully on the skin you have a deeper shade a medium shade and a light shade here i like to mix all of these up to create my customized color but i love this adored will be keeping this obsessed okay next product that i have here is this one this is the maybelline master bronze um bronzing palette um i think that i use this a few times honestly i don't even remember um they are nice. This one is actually really nice. It seems like it's it swatches beautifully. These two seem a bit weak, and this is, I think, a highlighter. But honestly, I just I don't really use this, even though I know that I probably could and should. Like, why not? Um, I probably will only use this shade, so I don't know if it's worth it for me just to keep this. Um, so even though I want to keep it, it's been here for quite some time, and I just never touched it, so... Ah, okay, fine. Goodbye. I'm leaving you. Okay, moving on to the next product. This is the Ulta Beauty Baked Bronzer. This is one that I'm actually gonna declutter as well. I really don't like this. It looks super stunning in the pan and that's why I purchased it. It's butt ass soft, but it comes across super, super orangey on, like on the face, like you look like a tomato style. So I don't really like how this looks on the face. I love like the design. I love how soft it is, but honestly, I just don't use it because it just too too red like it has a super red undertone to it which i don't mind but this one is like to an extreme so i'm gonna say goodbye to this as well hey we're doing pretty good we're doing pretty good here um <clears throat> okay moving on to this this is gonna be a heartbreaker for me but this is the estee lauder bronze goddess bronzer really really nice the color is a bit um i would say I don't know if the word is deep, but it has a little bit of an interesting undertone to it. The reason why I don't really like this so much is because it has a bunch of glitters in there. But look, it's like really, really dark. And I mean, it suits my skin. It like barely swatches, but it does pick up nicely on a brush. Point is that I don't really use this a lot because I feel like it has a bunch of glitters in here. And I feel like the color is just a little bit off from my skin type. So, uh, for my skin tone, I mean. So, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this even though it is super tough for me. I love the packaging. It's super cute. I might go ahead and pick up a different one that's in a different shade. This one right here is in 02 medium. Maybe I'll pick up the lighter one. But this one, I know this just this does not work out for me. So, as much as I want to keep it, got to say goodbye. Actually, guys, one second. I have bronzers over there on my shelf. So, let me go ahead and get those as well. Here were a few bronzers that were on my shelves over there. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of it again. I don't want to. Oh my god, I did not think this is going to be so hard for me. Okay, <clears throat> moving on to the next one that I have here. Let's do this. This is the Kevin Aquan um, Contour Book Volume 2. It's like super dirty and like nasty, but I adore this for this uh, cream um, 
bronzer here. I love that. That's why I keep this in my bronzer drawer, even though there are shadows here. And then um, highlighting products. This I use occasionally. It's a powder, but this you guys can see. Like I hit pan. I love it. I adore it. I probably would repurchase this whole thing just for that because it's so freaking good. But I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Okay, moving on to the next product that we have here. This is from Urban Decay, and this is the Beached Bronze um, Bronzer. I don't know. I don't know. It's really nice, but... Uh, just gonna be honest with you, I don't really use this. I just don't use it as much as it looks super stunning and, you know, I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter, put it in the selling pile. My heart is aching, let me tell you. Okay, next product that we have here is this ColourPop Press Powder Bronzer. I don't know what I was thinking when I purchased this. This is like super, super, super deep. I don't even know what shade this is in. It doesn't even say, whatever. Point is, this is very, very dark, like, it looks very muddy on me because of how dark it is and because of how fair I am. It's just, it blends out, but it just doesn't blend out to my liking. You know what I'm saying? So as much as this is adorable, I will go ahead and declutter this. Maybe I'll go ahead and purchase uh, one of these shades that does suit my skin. But truly, I don't know what I was thinking when I purchased this. Like, I, I guess I wasn't thinking, you know? So declutter. Next product that we have um, is this. This is the MAC Delicates uh, Bronzer. This I actually really enjoy. I used it a ton last year. And when I look at my pictures, I'm like, hey, my skin looks really nice. This has more of like a cooler undertone to it. I don't know if you guys can see there. But I really like this. The packaging is adorable. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Put that in the keeping pile. Moving on to the next product that I have here. This is the ABH um, bronzer in the shade Tawny. This is uh, a recent purchase of mine. I really love this. It has a very, I would say, warmish undertone to it. But it looks really, really great on the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. It's really nice and soft. It blends out easily. I just think it's wonderful quality. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Okay, then I have these two um, Positions Formula Butter Bronzers. And I do believe that they're in the same shade. One second. Um, so no, this is sun kiss bronzer and this is just plain bronzer. Let me see how they both swatch. So first of all, I'm really proud of myself because I hit pan this. So excited. Love it. It's such a nice color. I'm sure you guys are familiar with that. And then we have this one, which is brand new to the most part. So butt soft. Um, which I feel like has a more of a orangey like undertone to it. Um, as much as I do want to go ahead and keep both, I think I'm just going to go ahead and keep this one the one that i hit pan on because i do want to try to finish it up and it is a bit older this one right here i feel like maybe i would be able to give it to a friend or i don't know you know maybe give it to someone else who would enjoy it because i maybe use it like two or three times so i'm gonna go ahead and declutter this but i'm gonna go ahead and keep this one moving on to the next product this is the bronze booster physicians formula bronzer um this is in the medium to tan to dark shade i've had this for a good four three years i would say and as much as I do like it, I think it's really nice. I just, it's not one that I reach for. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. That was pretty easy. Um, this is the Wet n Wild, um, what is this? Color icon, I think, bronzer. What shade? In Bikini Contest. I remember when I purchased this. Oh my God. So let's see. I don't really use this. I really don't. But a part of me wants to keep it because I might want to do a Wet n Wild I'm sorry about the noise, but I might want to do a wet and wild um, full tutorial look, you know. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Why not? You know, keep it. All right. I think we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty, pretty good. Um, okay, let's do this. This is the Park Avenue Princess Palette by Tarte. And I know you guys are probably going to think like, yeah, you're for sure going to keep that. But I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Um, I do like it, but I'm not like obsessed with it. I think I did include it in one of my favorites videos a few months back and I did like it then. I used it consistently, but I just don't find myself reaching for it anymore and it just, it doesn't appeal to me. I don't know. So, declutter pile. Whew, I can't breathe anymore. I can't breathe anymore. Okay, next product that we have, let's do this one. This is the Physicians Formula BB Bronzer. So there was a little bit of a pink blush color in there, but I took it out because it was so hard to like get like the actual true bronzing color on the skin. Um, so I did use this quite a few times, but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. I think it's just super bulky and I don't have one of those like Z palette thingies to throw this in. And I think that this is just okay. It's not one that I'm like dying over. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, which I recently got um, in a set that I purchased, the Sephora Favorite Sun Kiss set. I really, really like this. I've been using it a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. It's also the deluxe size, so I can travel with it. This is the Hourglass um, Bronzer in the shade Luminous Bronze Light. 
I love this. It's really nice. I actually have a full size right over here, which is what I typically use like on clients and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and keep both of these. I think these just look beautiful on the skin, whether you use it on yourself or on anyone else. Just it looks airbrushed and flawless. So keeping both. Okay, next thing that we have here are these two products. These are the LA Girl Pro Conceal. These are concealers, but I picked up deeper shades so I can contour and bronze with these. This one is just super dark. It looks very muddy on me. Like I'm just so fair. So when I put this on my skin, it's like, whoa. Um, and this one is nice. What shade is this? Toffee. Yeah, this was one that I used a lot last year when I was really, really into it, but I don't find myself using it so much anymore. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of both of these. Um, yeah, goodbye. Okay, next, 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 next. Okay, this is the Nikki Garrett Bronzer Duo. I got this from Amazon, I believe, a few years back, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it because I just, I, I think I used it once and never touched it since, and I don't, I just, I don't wanna use it, you know? So it doesn't appeal to me at all. I'm gonna get rid of that, finally, like, yeah. Um, what else? Okay. You know when you just don't wanna touch anything because you don't know what you wanna do with it? I don't know what I want to do. Okay, this is the Laura Mercier Bronze Number no. Three Bronzer. This is something that I'm gonna go ahead and keep. I had it in my collection for a long time, but I never really like used it. You know, it's a really pretty shade. If I don't find myself using it a lot, I'll get rid of it. But for now, I want to try it and keep it. Um, what else? Okay, this is the Tarte Tardis Contour Palette. Yeah. This is gonna be insane to probably many of you guys because I'm dying myself on the inside, but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. This was one that I did use consistently. You guys can see it is very, it was very well loved. I typically, you know, focused on these two shades and then sometimes this blush. I never really used the middle shade. These were nice um, at some point too, but I just don't find myself using it anymore. And I just, I don't know. I don't care not to have it in my life. You know what I'm saying? So goodbye TARDIS contour palette. I'm gonna put it in the declutter pile. Next, 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 next. Okay, this is the It Cosmetics You Sculpted Bronzing and Contouring Palette. You guys can see there are really nice, a really nice. There's a really nice selection of shades in here. Um, I like this, but I don't love it. I feel like most of the shades are super red, like in their undertones. Um, so I'm not like someone who's dying over this. I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter, declutter. Yeah. I don't know, like I like it, but I'm not like, it's not one I would reach for like over other ones. So decluttering. Next, this is the Marc Jacobs um, Tantastic Bronzer. This is one that I'm for sure gonna keep for the fact that, for the reason that it was pretty expensive and I really actually enjoy this. I do use this a lot when I know I'm gonna be taking pictures of myself and I really want to look like, you know, super sculpted and defined. I will go ahead and use this, but I do love it. So I'm gonna keep that. Um, what else? What else? Okay. This is the ColourPop and Alexis Ren Duo. I typically use the bronzer in here, but there's a highlighter in here as well. So I per this is my second time repurchasing this because my first one kind of broke. It was so like, I didn't even do anything. It just like broke. And at the point, the, at the time when I purchased it, I was dying over it. Like I really, really liked it. And now when I'm looking at it, I'm not crazy over it. I just don't know. I just don't know. But I think I'm still gonna go ahead and keep it. I do like it still, and I don't wanna be sorry, so I'm gonna keep it with that one. Moving on to what I have here. Here is the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. This is one that I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of. I just never got down with this. I think that they're super, super soft, so for me, it's just really hard to blend it out, and when I go a little bit overboard, like, I'm doomed. Like, I have to clean up my whole face of makeup and do everything all over again. I know a ton of people actually really enjoy this, but for me, there are other contouring palettes that I like more than this one, so I'm gonna say goodbye, even though it is kinda, you know, it does kinda hold a special place in my heart, but it's, it's just, it's time to go. Okay, moving on to the next palette that I have in here. This is the Contour Kit by ABH. This is one that, you know, I really, really liked for some time, and I I did use pretty much just this shade a bunch, um, but I don't find I, that I use it anymore, and I just kind of feel like the quality is not as good as it was when I initially purchased it, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and give this to a friend, or if anyone wants to purchase it for me, then they definitely could, but I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that. Yes, I'm doing so well, I'm doing so freaking well. Okay, next thing that I have here is this MAC Little uh, Refined Golden Bronzer. Honestly, I'm gonna keep this just for the packaging, even though I don't typically use this bronzer because it is really deep and it has like a bunch of glitter in there. I do really like the packaging. I think it's cute and I am a collector to some extent. I mean, I am a collector, so I do wanna keep this in my life. Okay, next, um, we have this. This is the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster, another one. 
and this one has like a sheen to it. It's like super pretty. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. It's really nice. I just don't use it. You know what I'm saying? I had it for like two years and I don't think I used it once. So goodbye. Um, what else? What else? We have this. This is the Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade Soleil. It's like massive. It also is like a baked formula. It has little specks of like glitter in there. That's how it looks once it's swatched. It's, I don't know. I, I, I didn't touch this in like two years. I don't know. Ah, I want to keep this, but I don't think that I will. So, bye. You guys better be proud of me, okay? Because I'm dying on the inside. <laughs> what else? What else? What else? But I'm kind of happy that it's kind of clearing up because it was a little bit too much for me, honestly. Okay. This is the um, Bahama Mama bronzer by um, The Bomb. And I really do like this. I did used to like it a bit more than I do now, but I still do find myself using it from time to time. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. It's good for traveling as well. You can go heavy handed with this or really light. So I will keep that. We have the Hula bronzer by Benefit. This is one that I'm gonna go ahead and keep. I recently purchased this because I really love these small deluxe size. And I was like, let me go ahead and get a box. Um, a bigger box so i do enjoy this i think it's just a regular go-to bronzing powder that looks really great in the summer winter any time of the year and then i'm gonna go ahead and keep this little guy as well which um i do love too because it's the same formula to the most part and i find myself traveling with this um pretty often and i do love how it looks on my face so i'm gonna keep that as well next thing that i have here is the lisa frank uh bronzer this is really really pretty it's a bit too deep but it still works and I do like the formula of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. A lot of teeny little bronzers I realize that I have. Mm, what else? Okay, this is the MAC and Ellie Golding Collection um, bronzer and blush. This bronzer is not bad actually. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this because of the collector in me. I really do enjoy collecting MAC uh, powders. So I'm gonna keep this, but I typically don't really use this to be honest, but I'm gonna keep it just for the packaging. Um, what else? What else? Okay, then I have these three Lumi bronzers by uh, L'Oreal. So we have this one, which is in the, which is in the shade, ugh, which, is in the sh which is in the shade 01. And I really do like this. It has a great, cool undertone to it. It's really nice and large, and it just adds a really nice effect on the skin. So I'm going to keep that. I adore it. Uh, then we have this one, which is in the shade 03. And then we have this one, which is in the shade 02. So from 02 and 03, I actually think that this one is brand new. Yeah, 03 is brand new. I don't think it's swatched, so maybe I'll put it in the selling pile if somebody wants to buy it. But I think I'm going to keep the 02. Oh, baby, yes. Going to keep that. So I'm going to keep 01 and 02 and give away or sell declutter 03. Goodbye to that. Okay. Then I have uh, this gorgeous cosmetics bronzer in the shade um, Bronze Light 01. That's how this one looks. I actually did use a nice amount and I do actually really, really enjoy this. I'm gonna keep that guy. Um, what else? Let's see. Okay, this is the Pure Sculpted Palette. I think this is really, really nice. I typically use this just for the highlighters, but the bronzers and contouring powders are super, super deep. Um, so as much as I wanna keep it because of the highlighters, I think I'm gonna get, go ahead and get rid of it, put it in the declutter selling pile um, in case someone is interested in this and in case it would suit someone else's skin tone. But I know for me, I'm just probably not gonna reach for it even though I wanna keep it, I just don't think I will use it. So declutter. Okay, then we have the Mac Brook Candy Little Compact. This is shit balls. Let me just make that clear. There's hard pan from here to who knows where. Really disappointing and annoying. It kind of just turns me off from the whole entire thing because this is like 27 bucks and what the hell is this? I, I think I use this maybe, maybe once. So it does annoy me and a part of me doesn't want to keep it because even if the packaging is super cool, it's like the product inside is such shit, but for now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. If for any reason I change my mind in the long run, I'll keep you guys posted, but for now I wanna keep it just for the packaging and to display. But you know, things might change, I don't know. Um, okay, moving on to these two products now. This is one that I purchased in Israel when I traveled there. And this is the Dream Sun Bronzing Powder. I don't even think that I use this, but it's super, super soft. It seems pretty, pretty orangey But I spent like an arm and a leg on this, honestly. Like, look at that, it's so orange. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this. Even though I don't want to, it's my Maybelline. I don't even think they sell it in the States. Um, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna get it so hard for me. It's just so hard. 
Um, okay, next. I'm going to go ahead and speak about this. This is the Glam Bronze by L'Oreal. This was one they released a few years back. You guys can see I used up a nice amount. Adore this to no end. Amazing. Oof, so deliciously butt ass soft. Like, it's so nice, creamy, pigmented, blends out, keeping obsessed. Yes, man. Okay. I just feel like I need to wipe my hands. My hands are so dirty now. All right. Next two products that I have here are these. These are the Becca... Um, what is it called? Sunlight bronzer. So I have two. This is in the Capri Coast one. That's how this one looks, just like that. And then this one right here is in um, bronze bonding. Mm. One second. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this one, which is Capri Coast. And I think bronze bondy. I'm going to go ahead and declutter, put it in the, this, in the selling pile. I think I used this once. It's a bit too deep for my skin tone. And I think I have this in a different palette, like this specific shade. So I don't think it's necessary to keep. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that one. But I'm going to keep this one. The next thing that I have here is this um, bronzing powder. This is by Too Faced. This is the Coco Contour Palette. That's how this one looks like on the inside. I think I sw just swatched this or maybe just used it once. I just don't find that it looks good on my skin. You have two bronzing, you have a contouring shade, a bronzing shade, and two highlighting shades. And then this brush is still in a little, you know, plastic, so it's still brand new. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that, put it in the selling pile. Next one that I have here is this one. This is the Sephora Sun Disc. That's how it looks, it's super pretty. I like how they have the Sephora symbol in here. Let me swatch this big baby. It looks like a disc, literally. I mean, it is cold disc. I think I'm gonna keep this for the packaging. I don't know if I would typically use this because it has a very orange undertone to it, but I'm gonna keep it just for the packaging for now. If anything changes, I will keep you posted. Um, then I have this which is the Chicathon palette by Benefit, which honestly should not be in here because I feel like, I feel like it belongs in the blush section. So yeah, because I only have one bronzer in here. So yeah, this goes in the br uh, blush section. So that's going to go over there. The next thing I have here is the Urban Decay um, Naked Skin Shape Shifter palette. Whoa, what the hell was that? Okay, okay kiss my ass, please. What is this? What is this? Excuse me, I'm so insulted. Um, all right, I'll just put some glue in there or something. That, that, sh that sucks though. Like, that's not cool, man. Not cool. Anyways, we have four powders here. Two, one contouring, bronzing, and two highlighting powders, which are, cr um, yeah, powders. And then we have the creams in here. I don't really like the creams. These three creams are brand new. I've only used these two. And in regards to the powders, I've used these just a few times. But I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. I just don't really enjoy this. So, I'm so sorry, but bye. Bye, 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 bye. bye. Okay. Next thing that I have here is the bra Bronze Booster Little Contouring Palette by Physicians Formula. Oi, um, I'm gonna get rid of this. I thought I wanted this, wanted it. I purchased it, I don't even think that I used it, but honestly, I just really have no interest in it. It's just, it was interesting to me when it came out, but now I'm kinda like, nah, it's fine. If I really, really want it, I'll go ahead and repurchase, but I don't think I'm interested, so at this point in my life. Anyways, next palette that I have here is the KKW Beauty Contouring Palette. We have two highlighters, actually, and then a br um, bronzing and contouring powder. This is like super orangey. I don't know why. What was I thinking when I bought this? Let's see. The highlighters are really nice. I don't know. I don't know, man. Ah! Um, I'm gonna declutter this. I know, I'm telling you, hardcore, man. This is just no games being played edition. So I'm gonna declutter that, put it in the selling pile if anyone's interested. The next thing that I have here is this one. This is the Sephora palette. So basically you have two uh, blushes in here, a highlighter to an extent, and then a bronzer. This is amazing. I love this palette just for this, but I love these two as well. I don't typically use this because it was a limited edition, but I really still do enjoy it and I still want to put, put it to good use and not get rid of it just yet. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. I, I really, really like it. Okay. We have a few products left in here. Not too, too much. The next thing I have is this massive NARS bronzer in the shade. Um, I think it's Laguna, I believe. That's how this looks. I believe that this almost fell out or almost broke or something. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this in my kit. I know I didn't mention my kit for a long time or even once in this video, but I think it would be a perfect shade to use on clients. I'm going to put that in that pile, but I guess I'm going to be keeping that, so that's in the keeping pile. Um, <laughs> okay, 
This is the Kevin Aquan um, Light Sculpted Powder. This is bomb, 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 bomb to use on yourself or on others. It's going in my kit, so I'm going to be keeping that. I have this little baby, um, what is this, Laguna bronzer. I think I'm going to keep this. I don't know if it performs the same way as it used to, but it seems like it's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. I think I'm going to be hitting pan very soon. Maybe I'm going to try to pan this. Let me know if you guys want to see a panning video of products that I want to just like hit pan on. The next thing that we have here is this. This is by Essence. It's just a little baby like bronzer. My hand is like all brownie now, all bronzed up, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. I don't think I really need it. I'm not into it. Okay, bye. Um, next one that I have here is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Mm, yes. This is one that I actually recently repur um not repurchased, I just recently purchased this and I don't wanna part ways with it just yet. It smells amazing, um, and so I need this in my life. I think it'll look nice on clients too if I choose to use it on them. Then I have this Rimmel Radiance Brick Multi-Total Shimmer Powder. Yeah, so I purchased this, never used it. Ooh, it's actually nice. Ooh. Has like a sheen to it. I don't know. I feel like if you would have deeper skin tones, this might look great on you as a highlighter. But for me, it would probably work as a bronzer. It looks nice. Like, I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, let me keep this, baby. See? Like, I'm rediscovering shit as well. So I'm going to keep that. I have this contouring stick by KKW Beauty. Oh my god, this was just a pain in the ass because they like almost break so easily, but there's like shit of shit product left. Like there's like barely anything in here to begin with. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this just because it was super pricey and I think that I can probably use it up within a month if I use it consistently. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. Then I have this uh Sephora little powder. I don't know if you guys can see, but I used a bunch of this. It used to be like my holy grail, I would say about two years back. Um, it is really nice. Let's see. Awkward, awkward. It is really, really nice. You see what I'm saying? Um, I wanted to get rid of it, but I think I want to keep it. Maybe this will be one that I'm going to um, try to pan as well. But I think I want to keep that because I do like it. Mm, okay. Becca Capri Coast Bronzer. This is a small baby size. I think I'm going to keep this. I think it'll be great for traveling. Just a small baby man. Um, what else? We have this Essence Matte Bronzing Powder. This is amazing if you guys are looking for more a more affordable bronzer. This is so good, it's so pigmented, super soft. Doesn't look orangey or muddy on. I really like this, I'm gonna keep that. Next one that I have here is this Laura Geller. Um, this is the Blush and Brighten Sun Swept Blush. Um, that's what it really is, it's really a blush. But um, I put it in this drawer because it's a little bit too deep for me for blush. Like look, you guys can see. Hopefully, um, let's see, let's watch here. See what I'm saying? Like, it could work as a blush, I would say, but maybe if you have a deeper skin tone, it would look really beautiful. But for me, I feel like it's super, super dark. Um, maybe I'll try to use it for blush. Let's put it in the blush drawer. So let's put that there. Next thing that I have here is this Rimmel Maxi Bronzer. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I purchased this and never touched it, never used it. Uh, I wanna just swatch it just to see. Ooh, baby. It's very nice. It's very dark. Oh, what am I doing? Stop. Stop it. Um, shit, why did I swatch it? Let me go ahead and keep this. Keep it. See how it works out. If I decide to declutter it, I'll keep you posted. Okay, then I have these three little guys left. I have the Wet n Wild Press Powder in the shade Golden Tan. I know that this is typically a face powder that you should be using for all over your face, but I purchased this to use it specifically for like a bronzer and stuff. It has a very, very thin formula. I purchased this, I still did not have a chance to use it, so I don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep this for now. Then I have the Givenchy um, Dolce like bronzer. This I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my kit. That's how that one looks, it's really nice. It has like an orangey undertone to it. Pretty orangey, I would say. Um, yeah, I'll put this in my kit. And then I have this final product that I purchased from Aruba when I went there about two, three years back. So it does hold a special place in my heart. I don't typically use it, but I do want to keep it for sentimental reasons, at least for now in my life. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the calculations of how much products I kept for myself, how much product I'm going to be decluttering or selling if you guys are interested, and then how much products um, I'm going to be putting in my kit. So let's do the numbers. Okay, so I just organized everything and oh my goodness, it looks so much better. So I just did the calculations. In total, I had 66 bronzers. 
this is how the drawer looks now after I organized everything and decluttered. Oh my God, I can breathe. It looks so much better. I could see exactly what I have. I realized that I have a lot of these small deluxe size little bronzers, which is great for traveling. And also I feel like I could probably use them up faster than, keep, than having bigger size bronzers, you know, but... Oh my god, in love with how this drawer looks. It's so not claustrophobic now. I'm going to be putting some of these on my shelves over there just because I keep them as display. But this is just everything that I'm keeping basically. I just put it in here so you guys can see how breathable this drawer is. So, like I mentioned, in total I had 66 bronzers and contouring powders together. Um, all of this together is 32, so I'm going to be keeping 32. Now let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm going to be putting in my kit and what I'm going to be decluttering slash selling potentially. So here are the few products that I'm going to be putting in my kit. There are six in total right over here, which I think is a great amount. These are the six that I chose to put there. So um, again, total 66, keeping 32, um, putting in the kit um, six. And then here... Goodness, here's basically all the products that I'm going to be decluttering and getting rid of slash selling, giving to friends, all that jazz. Um, and this is a total of 28. Guys, I don't even know how all this fit in the drawer, but are you proud of me? Please thumbs up this video if you guys are proud of me or amazed at how much I'm going to be getting rid of. I'm just like blown away with myself. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely follow me on Instagram if you guys want to see what I'm going to be getting rid of and what I'm potentially going to sell. I might go ahead and just throw some extra goodies in the packages if anyone purchases anything. So stay tuned. Um, and that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned for my other declutter videos and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.